and I'll explain what fun search is. Um, so it's fun, but not only that, <laughs> uh, fun actually stands for function. So it's basically searching for functions. So um, the mechanism that it does to do this is basically imagine you have two like Python functions and then you pass those into like an LLM and you say like here's v1 of the function, here's v2 of the function, I want you to give me v3. Okay, so it writes that. And then you can run the function, right, and it's trying to do something, it's, a, it's code, it's trying to, so you execute the code and you see how well it does on the objective function. And in, this is a DeepMind paper, in the paper initially, they did it on this kind of like abstruse, like some math problems, like, I don't know, some type of like graph theory stuff where there's like novel problems that they were looking for. And um, it actually did really well, right? And I think this is something that basically um, not a lot of people know about, um, but it actually like has proven results and nobody seems to really have applied it to actually anything useful. So I wanted to do that. Um, so what I do, I implemented uh, it in Python. It's open source. Um, I'll link the repository on the spreadsheet. And um, the function that I half uh, wrote down in this slideshow is I'm trying to get basically llamas to pass a bot detection test, right? So I have a GPT-40 that's like evaluating outputs to try to guess whether they are outputted by an LLM or not with a score. And then I have kind of this adversarial uh, system that's learning to try to you know, minimize the bot detection. So they're trying to pretend to be human. Um, so you can see, I actually have this running on a Docker right now. Unfortunately, like Grok started giving me a bunch of like server errors recently, but I was able to run it for um, a while and it seems to sometimes succeed. But um, yeah, I'm just using like Grok API provider. But um, yeah, you can see a bunch of these. So it's all stored in a database. There's about uh, 240 um, things that have been created. And the actual implementation is kind of interesting. There's basically different populations on islands, and these are all like um, evolving on their own. And then there's kind of like a mechanism where every so often, they half the islands get killed, the worst ones, and then the uh, you, you duplicate over from the other one. Um, but yeah, I mean, so basically, I was trying to get um, some interesting visualizations for you and uh, this <laughs> to, to try to show the results and uh, I wasn't able to get uh, cursor to help me generate anything too interesting but there you go these are the results <laughs> and um, yeah I mean so future implementation steps is basically we can take this right and then I think the most interesting next thing to do is I'm basically generating a data set of like adversarial examples of bots trying to mimic humans. So then I just need like some actual just human text. And then I can run the evaluation function through the same system, right? And this becomes both the evaluation function proves at discriminating between humans and LLMs. And then it, the adversarial generators also improve. Therefore, this generative adversarial network between two fun searches, which is a genetic algorithm, and that's, there you go, self-improving system. Another thing to do is, you notice I've written this code all in one file, funsearch.py. Now you might think that's shitty coding practice, but it's actually so that it would be very easy to run fun search on itself, meta fun search. So that's also like step two. And once we do that, open source AGI. <laughs>